Hi, welcome to Kermi and the Angels. My name is Dr. Kermi Wollenhouse, and I'm an angelologist. I'm an angel expert. Oh, it's great. And a clairvoyant, and I've written books. I'm an author, and I do presentations. And I'm so excited tonight that I'm a TV host, and I get to have this TV uh, show and have these wonderful people on. Where tonight we're going to feature Jane Stern, who's an angel artist, and also Ambika Waters, who has written several books and also is an angel artist. And I'm so excited that you're here tonight. Welcome. Thank you. Thank it's you. It's just great to have you. Now the big uh, feature is that they're going to be doing a art opening and they're going to be showing their art at the DeGrazia Gallery uh, coming up. And so it's very exciting. Let me get that a little bit so it's there. It's called The Gathering of Angels at the DeGrazia. Good for you. And we also want to let you know that they also have other showings that they do around town in the state. And also Ambika, these paintings that she's going to be see showing you tonight are also part of angel cards. So Ambika, let's start with you and talk about those. Well, they were inspired by divine guidance and the process was very simple of laying paint down on wet paper mm -hmm. so it spread. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show one while you talk. Okay, and when it dried, angelic forms started to emerge. And I've done 80 of these paintings. Several will be in the exhibition. And they have names. They are the angel of listening is what you're showing now. And these angels, um, in addition to the visual, have a written prayer and an affirmation and something about the spiritual connection of their name. And they're going into a book called Angels of Light, mm -hmm. which is in the process of being completed now. And will these be oracle cards? Yes. Okay, yes. great. Good. A divinatory oracle with these beautiful angels that emerged on the paper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Jane, let's show your work. And they're kind of big for the camera, so I'm going to hold it up. Tell us a little bit about your process and what happens with you. Well, this particular angel, uh, we've got to make sure the paint is dry. I literally <laughs> just finished this piece and thought that I would bring it down tonight. And um, it, I, it's hard to say how it comes about. I have materials in my studio, mm -hmm. and they're always there. It's just that sometimes um, they make sense to me in a way that creates something. Um, I've had these materials for years in my studio, but in the last few days, they came together to look like this. And it looks like you have metal, um, and this is a faucet handle? Yes, it is. <laughs> and so you take all kinds of different material, so I, it's multimedia, which I love, and then you make an angel out of it. Correct. You've got um, amazing, well, you have been on the show before and you have showed us um, many wonderful angels and they seem like you're, ev you're evolving into more complex mm -hmm. um, designs and Thank you. interesting things. You also, I know that you add names to uh, your work and so like person's names practically or angel names, is correct. that correct? That's correct. I, to say that I add them is, is to say that in the process of making them, a name is announced that I receive. Mm -hmm. And in the case of this angel that I just finished, number one, I'm not sure the gender of this angel, but I have not received the angel's name yet. So I, 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 I don't know what to tell you there. Um, most of my angels come with some kind of a story. And um, this particular angel has its story too. I don't want to tell you my interpretation of the story, but there are elements of the angel that if you look, um, you can see what you might think the story is. Um, there's a, a canoe down here, or a little rowboat with some paddles in it and a bird. And um, again, they, they finally came together and the story is there. 
Wow. Do you all um, kind of get woken up in the middle of the night? Sometimes I'm getting woken <laughs> up in the middle of the night and they just want to chat away because I'm not involved with daily life. It was 4.30 this morning <laughs> when I got up and they, went they, into my studio. They mm. knocked on your door and said, wake mm. up, Jane. Yes. Yes. Well, great. It's beautiful. Thank and you. This is like the newest. That's hot off the press. Yeah, <laughs> so that's really great. And Ambika, let's so um, there's some with color. Now, I'm going to put it up like this. It might, because of the um, light that's reflected off from the lights. Tell us a little bit about this one. Well, that one's better. Well, I put down all the colors of the spectrum, mm -hmm. all the rainbow colors, and the angel just emerges out of it. I see the face. I see the wings. And my job is just to bring that form up. It's there. It's, it's on the paper. And this is something I'm going to start teaching. I call it spirit art because this is where everybody can, can have this connection. Mm -hmm. You know, it just emerges on the paper. Now, you've been artist for a long time. Did you, yes. you went to school and did um, some education around art? Yes. And was this the very first art that you've ever done, or is this the first angel art? No, it's not the first angel art, but it's a commitment to painting that I've never made before. I, I have a master's in fine arts from the Royal College of Art in London mm -hmm. from 1972, mm -hmm. so it's been a long time. But I used to paint at Christmas during the Holy Nights. It was the only time I felt I had the freedom to paint. And this past winter, I felt really called to just submerge myself in it. And this is what came out of it, and I love it, and I can't stop doing it. Yeah. <laughs> How many of these paintings do you have in your card deck? I have 72 cards, wow. 72 wow. angels. Let's see. That one. Yeah. If you would hold that one up, yeah, seventy-two angels. Yeah, and I remember. Um, let me just take that. For I remember Ambika. I was in London, um, and Brighton, and I went to a bookstore, and I saw that there were angel cards, and mm -hmm. the name on the cards were Ambika Waters. Mm -hmm. And I thought, who is this? I know every angel person that there <laughs> is, and here's somebody in the United Kingdom that I didn't know about. They were beautiful cards. Tell mm -hmm. us about those. Well, they were the second book I ever wrote, mm -hmm. and um, I wasn't sure I could do it. My agent said, this is something you need to do. And she kept encouraging me, and I finally, I tore pieces of paper up and made little stick figure angels to create the oracle. Sat down on my kitchen floor in the middle of the night and created this oracle. And went to London a few days later, met the publishers and gave them a reading mm -hmm. with these stick figures. Mm -hmm. They had a man who was very, very gifted with doing any kind of art you wanted. He was known in the trade as the forger. He could do any style. Oh and they hired him to do the angels, which uh -huh. were beautiful. And that deck has sold over a million copies worldwide and since 1995. It just keeps flying, quite literally. But this is different because this is my own art mm -hmm. and not mine art. This came through me. I, I can't put it any better than that. Mm -hmm. I was the vehicle for it. Mm -hmm. and. You know, Jane works in her stunning medium, and I work with paints, and it comes through us. Mm -hmm. We're called to do it, mm -hmm. and I, I love it. I love seeing what, what emerges. And how long have you known each other, you two? I'm going to get another couple one. A couple of years, up. three years? I think three years. Yeah. And um, I was <laughs> the one. Go yeah. ahead. Tell them what happened. I was having a luncheon at my house, and you called me on the phone and mm -hmm. said, is it okay if I bring a friend? Uh -huh. I said, absolutely. <laughs> and you mm -hmm. brought Ambika, and Ambika came up to my studio, and we mm -hmm. were with angels for I don't know how long, and ever since it developed from there. Yes. Um, and I, I love that, because now you're doing a show together, so yes. I feel like I'm part of it in some way. Oh, it's you are. so nice to just connect people. Um, I'm going to, Jane, if you would hold that, sure. I'm going to move this one. 
gingerly out of the way. And um, so I'm going to hold this. Tell us what your process is. It looks like uh, you hammer and nail and screw and weld and do all kinds of stuff. So this is not little fabric art where it's just um, kind of sweet, where it's nice uh, kind of comparison or there's two different types here and because art is really soft and feminine and yours is also but it takes a, a hammer and a nail to put some of this together it does it definitely does the attaching has become uh, one of the really fun parts of making these angels this angel um, has a variety of different um, qualities to it in terms of uh, materials mm -hmm. we have steel we have wood, we have ivory, we have sterling silver, we have galvanized steel. Um, I'm just looking around right now. We have different pieces of, of houseware things. And um, this angel came to me very, very quickly, similar to what Ambika had said, that it comes through me. This angel came very quickly. And quite literally, I was the conduit to do what was given to me to do. Mm -hmm. And the mm -hmm. ideas were just there. It was for me to execute the ideas. And the, and the colors were there and it was just for me to put them on and the, and the materials were there and I just needed to figure out how to attach them and it flowed out so naturally and so easily and so comfortably. Mm -hmm. And she's quirky and she's, um, She's just different. She's just different. This right she here moves? is a piece to a door. Oh. You know, doors, if you want to, when you open them, big, heavy industrial doors. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I like that you have movement in your angels. Uh, before, when we had you on, they were all solid, and yes. then they started having some movement. So yes. it's very fun that they're flying. And what, what time of the day did they come to you for this one, do you think? <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm trying to remember about Hollis. Um, it, it was two different things. The, the structure itself that holds her was one kind of time, but Hollis herself came all at one time, and, and I don't remember exactly the time of day. All I know is I got lost. I, time of day is, becomes inconsequential. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if it's sunshine mm -hmm. or dark or... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And with spirit art, um, you go where they are, where there is no time and space, and so you can get lost. And many artists do who aren't necessarily doing spirit art, but they'll say, I, it, I was just in the zone, or I was just taking, I was uh, either, uh, I was just talking to a um, pianist who does spirit work, uh, on his keyboards and he just said I just mm -hmm. go mm -hmm. and the music just comes and it flows and and all that I so think, it's all very similar I'm sorry I think what's unfortunate is that so many people get messages early in their lives that they cannot create or they're not creative or they don't have talent or they're not gifted mm -hmm. but I think the truth is that anybody can do this mm -hmm. anybody Mm -hmm. can tap in and do what I do if they wanted to. I believe that. Mm -hmm. I absolutely so I. believe that. I do too. And it's that's available. what you're saying too about your classes is mm -hmm. to really give people an opportunity to have that expression come through them yes. and how and what that's like. Sometimes people get very um, kind of scared of it because it does. You're kind of like out in the zone a little bit, but you do come back. It's not like they just let you fly away. So <laughs> it's it's nice to have a facility. Let me see some others, uh, Ambika, while we are going here. This is the Angel of Freedom. Mm, nice. I don't know if you can see that. That's good. And people relate to the titles and to the oh. names mm -hmm. as well as to the images. Uh -huh. People have said, I've had a difficult year and the Angel of Freedom speaks to me. and. So I've written prayers and affirmations about these angels, and they will go into the book. But I also agree with what Jane says. This is not rocket science. Mm -hmm. It can be, everybody will make their own unique expression of spirit. And I'd like to teach in assisted living and nursing homes and places where people need to really make that connection. And also, in my studio. 
this is something I, I really feel called to do, to share this very simple and uncomplicated method and let people create their own connection. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's certainly been healing for me in every way. Mm -hmm. And I love doing it. Yeah. What's it like when you're not doing your art? And I know that every artist has a time when it's like, well, that well just went dry. Am I ever going to be doing this again? So what do you do with that? Well, I can tell you in my case that these last, uh, since about July, my well dried up. And I was terrified because we had this art show coming up. And I kept mm -hmm. going into my studio and there, nothing was there. And I kept going back and nothing was there. And friends would say, just, you know, that it always comes back. And now we're into November and I'm thinking, when is it going to come back? And then it was on my son's birthday 10 days ago. Mm -hmm. It was like, boom. Mm -hmm. And I've been completely on. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's effortless. I just go in mm -hmm. and they are ready. They're ready. And I'm ready. Mm -hmm. And we do this thing together. That's important. It's not what you eat. It's not what you wear. It's not who you sleep with. It's not how much you meditate, how much you prayer. When it's time, they're there. Is that pretty much your experience? Yes, definitely. You just can't will them and say, okay. And then you look back probably and say, oh, I had so many other things to do that I'm glad that they waited until now. Mm -hmm. Then we can just go forward and uh, get you up at 4.30 in the morning. Yes, yes. So it's good. Is that what happens to you too? Do you ever have a... Well, I have to clean the house some, at some point. So that's when it's not happening. Mm -hmm. But I tend to paint in the summer. I mean, I'm sorry, in the winter season. And I write in the summer because mm -hmm. it's cool and you, there doesn't take a lot of activity. So I like to use the summertime to do my books and the first of November, the studio opens, and you know, if I can sneak in an hour or sneak in 15 minutes, I'll go in and I'll look and see how the paint dried, and I'll look and see what images have come up. And the next day, if I've got 45 minutes or an hour, I'll go in and I'll draw it. And the next day, I'll go in and I'll just work it like that. Mm -hmm. And I love, I call it the gift of time mm -hmm. when I have nothing to do but this. Mm -hmm. That's the gift of time. And I'm so grateful for it. But I don't, I'd like my sleep. So <laughs> I try not to get up at 4.30 because it does, need, it does need daylight. It sure does. Yeah. Yeah. Where Mine, yours is no. inside studio. No. Yeah. And I mean, even right now, I cannot wait to go home. <laughs> I just can't wait to go home and change clothes and put on my grubby th clothing and put on some music and light a candle mm -hmm. and get lost. Wow. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm. That's so great. Well, I'm going to put your contact information. Uh, Ambika, would you show the rest of uh, the ones that you have and explain oh, them while I'm doing this? One? Yes, please. You bet. This is called the Angel of Goodness, and you can see the frame is a mirror, so it reflects your own goodness when you look at it. Mm -hmm. And she's nice. heartful. Oh, we'll uh, we've seen that beautiful. one. I like the mirror. I like the mirror, too. I was really blessed to find these at Michael's at reduced prices so that I could keep my my prices very reasonable and yeah that one is not got a title mm -hmm. but it's these angels are all about love and connection and the power of spirit and they they reflect in so many different ways and when you if they people come to the show you can see this flow of different days, different moods, different attitudes that come through these angels. Now, um, you're going to have a DeGrazia show, but you're also, both of you are always doing events. So yes. to be on, uh, I just want to give everybody's uh, contact information mm -hmm. so that you can see uh, and meet uh, these amazing women in person as well. So um, let me just put this one down too, Jane. Jane, um, you have been doing a lot of street fairs and lots of stuff, but it seems that you've done a calendar and some um, print work as well. I have. In fact, I have just completed my 2015 calendar. Mm. Why didn't I think to bring that? I just completed my 2015 calendar, and I will probably reorder because 
I've added so many angels that I would like to see some of them in the 2015 calendar. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fun. And you have uh, beautiful cards, and uh, the website is really beautiful. Here's her Thank website you. information. And uh, you, it, I love the evolution that mm -hmm. you as an artist have. You can really see. And do you have some of your first paintings or your first art there? And the, I will take the prototype angel that was held together on a screen with wire mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and she was made of wood and she had steel mm -hmm. wings and she was number one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what a surprise when that happens and I remember you asking me going what's going on? <laughs> you know is this okay? I mean I'm just kind of getting lost in this and now it's like you want to and you're just you know, can't hardly, it's almost like pregnancy. Uh, you know, it's like this anticipation and this, it just has to be birthed, this love, this, mm -hmm. um, this mm -hmm. great art that I you're think creating. it was there, and I think I was ready to recognize it. Mm -hmm. And once I was open to mm -hmm. recognizing it, I mm -hmm. see angel wings everywhere <laughs> Me now. Me too. Everywhere. Me too. Mm -hmm. And when you go to get your materials, you go to junkyards, I go to the scrap yard, I go to yard sales, I go to thrift stores. Mm -hmm. If I go through people's trash, if they'll <laughs> let me, if they have good stuff in it. Um, I, I look all kinds of odd places uh -huh. to collect things. And do you things. pray or something before you go? Just do you say, okay, guide me with what to pick up? I have a belief system that I am going to be led to the things that I need to create what needs to be created for the person who's to have the angel. Mm -hmm. These are not my angels. Mm -hmm. I merely make them mm -hmm. for the person who is to have them, or the people or the family who oh. is to have them. And tell us a story about someone who saw an angel and uh, knew when that it was I, theirs. I just got goosebumps. Um, it was one of my first shows, and I saw a woman look at this angel and walk away and she came back and she looked at the angel and she s stared at it and she walked away again and she came back and finally she said I have to have that angel mm -hmm. and I said okay and she said I don't know how you've done it but you've captured my daughter mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. colors that you've used mm -hmm. all the way down to the um, mm -hmm. butterfly that you included and the feather that's on there how did you know to do this and I said I I didn't know to do this. Mm -hmm. This was given to me. And then she told me the story of her daughter being killed in a car accident. Mm -hmm. And that this angel mm -hmm. was her daughter's way of saying, I'm still here. Oh, That's lovely. So it was That's just so great. It's lovely. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. She bought that, didn't she? She did. She owns it now. So. And then she came to my studio and she was looking through my portfolio and there was a, an angel that's like the sister to the one that she bought. Mm -hmm. And um, she said, may I buy this angel? And oh I said, God. I'm sorry, that that's angel has been, has been purchased. Oh, okay. And she said, this angel was my daughter's best friend. Oh. And they were together at the time. Oh. And they were, it was a very strange thing. But no, this ha it's, it happens so frequently. It happens so frequently that people connect with their angel, whether it's some kind of tragedy or some kind of wonderful celebration mm -hmm. or something that is um, inside of them that gets stimulated when they see that angel and, and it enlivens them again. And, and to be able to bring that about, it makes it, it I love doing it. These, again, these are not my angels. That's amazing how you channel this energy and it just goes like that. Um, here's uh, contact information again. So uh, Jane, uh, tell us um, your website again. www.healingangelsinc.com And that's what they are, Healing Angels. Yes, they are. And Ambika? www.lifeenergymedicine.com Com. Okay, and Kermie and the Angels, www.kermieandtheangels.com. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here. Thank you. Thank you. It's just been great having you.